What I always do is I use a block of wood to hold the front of the washer up. Before you start any repairs or you're checking anything out, make sure you turn the power off. This is really simple. You'll be able to see what the problem is just by looking. The belt popped off that goes from the pump to the drive motor. So usually when a belt pops off like that, it means it's already stretched. So we're going to change both belts, and I'm going to show you how that's done right now. To release the belt, you don't need any tools. And if you notice that the larger belt, I'll put this back on just to show you for a second. The larger belt went up on the, the pulley of the motor on the very top, and you just work it around the transmission pulley right here. It's already on. If you notice, these belts are very, very loose. That's the way they're supposed to be on Maytag. Never make these belts tight because you'll burn out the motor and you'll cause other damage. The other belt would just go right back on like this. Back over to the pulley on the pump. Rotate it. It's back on. You're all set. But you can see that this is stretched. It's a little too loose, so we're going to change those belts. It would be the same procedure to put the new belts on. We'll take this off. Same thing with the back one. Whenever you change these belts, the large one and the small one, they're called 1124 and 1125 belts. If one belt is bad, always change both belts because one will be really tight and the other one will be loose and it will just keep going back and forth. So always change both belts.